all I'm gonna say. We're just moving on. We're just moving on. We're just moving on right now, even though I just, just, I just. Hi there, Michelle here, and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am making a Fall Out Boy inspired sweater. Fall Out Boy, my favorite band, favorite band. Technically, it's always kind of going between Fall Out Boy and like My Chemical Romance, but when I think of like singability, you know, and, and listening to songs in my car, it's Fall Out Boy. So, Fall Out Boy is releasing a new album at the end of March, and I want to make something to commemorate this amazing time in my life. Sorry, every time they come up with a new album, I'm like, yes, please, I will buy it. Here. Take my money. Anywho, I have had this idea for about two months now. Ever since that they announced that they're making a new album and they put this kind of like artwork out, which is like this like smiley face, half happy, half sad, kind of like the yin yang symbol. I saw it and I'm like, I need to just make a sweater. That's the reason I'm wearing this one is because I'm actually taking that idea and I'm going to be putting it to like this design. I like the shape of this sweater. I like how it fits and I like how the graphic looks. So I'm taking the measurements from this and applying it to my new sweater. I've wanted to make it for a few months now, but I couldn't because I've been working on two other projects. The one project was the Hobie yarn project. This one here that took a really, really long time and I never want to look at another hexagon sweater ever again. So I did this. And then there was another project, which coincidentally was another hexagon cardigan. I really want to make this design and I've had it in the back of my head and I'm just like, just finish these projects, just finish these projects. And this is like the first project of the year that is mine in a sense, because the first project I did for this year was a Valentine's day vest. So that was more like, I want to make something for like the holiday. I did the vest, which I wore like once for Valentine's day and then I've not worn it since. And then the other one was the Hobie yarn one, which yes, I did want to make a hexagon cardigan. That was my idea. These were the colors, but because it was for a company, I had to like be on like a deadline and I had to use their products. Even though like I got to make what I wanted to make, there was like, you know, just that added pressure. I had to make sure it was good. You know, I'd want the video to go out. And then the last project that I did, making it for somebody else. So I had to be like, hopefully this person likes it. Having to like make sure my cats aren't around me because I don't want their cat fur getting on the project, which they probably did anyways. And you know, like all those like added like little stressors but now I get to do whatever the heck I want and nobody can tell me nothing because it's gonna get done. Let me let me just show you the yarn I got. This is the yarn that I'm using. The black yarn is the Bernat Super Value yarn and I did buy three of them. Here's two. Here's the third one because last night I'm like I'm just gonna start this project because I have no chill. When it comes to crocheting I can't be stopped. I've already started working on it. I literally got a little bit of the bottom done. Now the only thing is is on the Michaels website website. They currently changed it over from like the US app to a Canadian app. So when you're looking for yarn, never believe what is on the site. So when I went online to look, this didn't show up online. I tried typing in Bernat yarn. This one didn't show up. So I had to go to two Michaels. They only had three, three in all of Niagara. If you were interested in buying this yarn from uh, about uh, March 4th to March 6th, I'm sorry, I have it. But also Lens Mills, Lens Mills, the one in Hamilton, Stony Creek, they do sell this brand of yarn if you're looking for it. They have a ton of Bernat yarn. You just can't use coupons like you can at Michael's. We have the white impeccable, and this is actually white, white. Usually when I do my projects, I usually have like that creamy off white, but this we're going white, white. You get 440 yards out of this one. And out of the impeccable, you get 285 yards. So you almost get double the amount with the Bernat yarn than you do the impeccable. And they are the same weight of yarn. These are both like $6.99. If impeccable was back to its old pricing of like what, $3.99, $4.99, I would have just went with impeccable. But no, I don't want to pay those prices, even when they have coupons. Luckily, when I did buy the white, they did have a 25% off for impeccable yarn. Anywho, I'm using a five millimeter crochet hook. What else, what else, what else do I want to talk about? When I was making this sweater, I actually wrote down what I did because sometimes I just forget and then I'm like, I'll do it later. And now it's like three months later and I have a lot of projects that I just never wrote down that I need to do. Luckily, I did write down the dimensions. So I'm just going to copy those dimensions and do it for this because this green one is actually impeccable and this black is the Bernat yard. And then I also did start to procreate, like I traced the image and then like jotted all the dots. Anywho, because I already had this grid in procreate, erase 
this color scheme and put the new one in and we're good to go. But another thing I did is to make sure that I write everything down because here's the thing, the other book that I have, I want to like print really nicely. I want everything to be nice and neat. But the problem is, is when I'm making something, I don't know what I'm doing until I'm done. So I don't want to write all these directions down and then have to cross them all out because I changed my mind. I got myself another crochet notebook because I love notebooks. I got this one. I actually picked this one up from the Dollarama. I have a little label maker and I just wrote crochet projects book up here and then I just put some stickers. This one's kind of falling off so I might replace that one down there. Anywho, I'm going to cover it in stickers. All I'm doing is I'm going to be writing down everything that I do. I feel like the last few months I've started doing how long does it take to make. So on this side here I'm putting the date, the time I start, the time I stop, any breaks I take, etc. And then over here is like all the notes and I can be like messy, I can be sloppy, I can just write whatever I want and then when this project is done I can take all these notes and make them pretty in my other book. I really think that's pretty much to start this project so I'm just gonna start crocheting and I haven't done one of these like intricate patterns in so long and I am so excited because they're my favorite projects to work on anything that's like intricate like this I absolutely love rather than just having to like create something plain which technically the arms are gonna be plain and the back is gonna be plain I was kind of debating if I wanted the back to say like you know fallout boy but I kind of want to make it like the smiley image on the front and for people who don't know it's fallout boy they'll be like that's cool but people who know it's follow boy will be like that's even cooler okay that's it that's what we're doing let's just get you know doing some crocheting all right so here's a little bit of my process or progress creating this circle i've had to take it apart three four times it just wasn't really working out for me but i mean it's crochet i feel like you're not really supposed to be making like a perfect curve so it's fine i've given up. it's gonna be fine when i'm gonna wear it it's not gonna be perfectly flat anyways so i don't know why i'm wearing i've also decided to watch Lord of the Rings and I have to say I think the last time I watched this was in grade 9 or 10 English class and the only reason I remember that is because we were required to bring the DVDs in and a bunch of us said we had the second DVD or like the second movie and so we were all supposed to bring it in and everybody forgot about it and then the next day everybody remembers we had like five copies but that's why I remember it. also when I say grade 9 10 English 20 ish years ago yeah I started watching that just because I've already watched all the true crime shows that I like and I'm just waiting for new seasons so yeah just continuing working on this hopefully I can get maybe the whole mouth done today all right so this is day four I'm making I think quite a good progress you can see here it's not going to be perfect and I've learned to accept that also like the symbol itself is kind of spray painted so it's like not even symmetrical anyways so we're just gonna go with that so this is the little stitch marker that i'm using i did get it from hobie yarn it's a little sheep if you know you know okay so i keep having trouble with the mouth right here so this is like right here and i want it to like join like I, I don't want this little white space here and like I keep forgetting to look and I just keep moving on and then I end up in the same predicament that I had been getting myself into. Like I already had to take it apart today. I wanted to get to the eyes. I've had to redo like this section two times, which means I could have been like up to here by now. I'm gonna have to take it apart again because I don't like that. If I add a black stitch here, I feel like that will just look a lot better because it just looks disjointed. You know, I think I might just do that tomorrow because I am too tired right now to do it. Having to keep switching up yarns, this is what happens. And I also like to call it a Rat King fiasco because that's pretty much what it is. It's just a bunch of strings getting knotted together. I'm not going to show a picture of a Rat King, but if you want to look it up, be warned. It's not pretty. Anyways, you know, I have to untangle it every once in a while and sometimes I forget and and stuff like that. If I cover up like the black part and just like look at this part, it looks very much like Jack Skellington, which would be a really cool crochet project. And I probably would have done back in 2009 when I was obsessed with it. But yeah, it's not going so bad. and Everything is just working the way it's supposed to. Hopefully everything goes well. Again, I'm being real with you all about uh, what happens in a crochet project. So I am putting the little teardrop, but my original plan was I was going to do like two and then go over and then like do two up. But I really don't like how that looks. It kind of looks something like this. I just kind of like how it looks straight, but I don't like where it is. So originally the teardrop had started on this side and went down and then over and then down. So I really want the teardrop like right here. I know, I know. So I'm just gonna have to take apart. Luckily it's just straight rows. So it's not like this intricate stuff. I'm getting really close to the eyes and I know when I get to the eyes, everything will be smooth. I just gotta get there first. 
Okay, I finally reached the very top of the face, which means I can snip all of the yarn that I'm not using anymore because for the very top, it's just gonna be black. Not gonna have a uh, Rat King situation no more. They're all gonna be snipped now and then I can just tie them off and then, you know, we them in eventually, eventually. I think it's actually like turning out really good. I am really excited. I am gonna get this part done today and then tomorrow I'll be able to start the back part, yay. All right, let's do some updates on the sweater. I got the front done. I got the front done. Look at how cool it is. Now, yes, it does look a little wide and not like a full circle. I mean, I could block it. I don't know if I'm gonna do that or not just because I really love how my other sweater fits me and I didn't block that one. I think with time, it will stretch down because of gravity. But look at how good this looks. Like this is actually looking really, really good good a few things i might do though is right here that little little thing right there i might just take some yarn and just like cover a little bit of this black just right there and then also like another thing though is like you can see all of this and then same with like up here as well you can kind of see that and i kind of tried to troubleshoot that like a little bit it just wasn't really working for me so then i'm like whatever it's my sweater i don't care what it looks like it looks like the symbol that's what i want maybe one day i'll figure it out but uh Mm. And I am actually really happy that I added the little tear here. I don't know if it's supposed to be a tear or not because it's like supposed to look like spray painted and it's like kind of running, but it definitely makes sense that if it's the, uh, the sad part of the face, it's a tear. I'm glad I put that in there. So like there's the sad part and the happy part. I'm very happy with how this turned out. The front is done. And I have to say doing this work is like my favorite part of the project. And then once it's done, I have to be like, oh, I'm just making three other squares. Not very fun. This is like the thing that I have to like really like work on, problem solve a lot. Basically like this part down, I had to take apart so many times because it was just, it was giving me issues, but I got it. Now the back of it isn't too bad. Okay, the strings aren't too bad. So what I ended up doing was I ended up having four balls of yarn going, okay? I had a black yarn for this side that went into here, but then I had a different black yarn that went over here and did like the black part of the smiley face there. And for the white, I had white for the border and the white in here, and then a different ball for this. Otherwise, like this right here, a black strand would have to go from here all the way over here. And like all this would be string and all this would be string. I think there's probably more learning that I can do on how to hide the strings, but this is fine for me because the front is amazing. Yesterday, I made this. This is the back part, and the back part is gonna be the exact same dimensions as the front part. So now I just have to continue making three more black squares. I have just run into a like a minor yet major complication in this project. It's very important that even if you're buying the same brand of yarn, the same color of yarn, you look at the dye batches because I was just working the back and I had switched yarns. Can you see the two different colors? And then I remembered I used both balls of yarn on this. It's down here that goes over here and then up here. Yeah, that's a little bit of a problem. I am actually gonna have to redo this whole back piece. I'm gonna have to take it apart because this yarn here is the same black as that yarn, not as this one. This one, for some reason, is just darker. My sister actually, she also gave me her brunette yarn and it's also too light. One ball out of the four that I have is wrong. Uh... I'm just gonna start again. It's fine, it's fine. I mean, it's not really fine, but I'm just gonna start the back piece again and I'm going to hustle and I'm going to crochet, like there's no tomorrow. I wanna get this done before the album comes out, which is the 24th, so I'd have to get it done the Wednesday before. So hopefully this comes out Wednesday, which leaves me one, two, three, five, six days to crochet before I really have to like have it done so I can edit it and do the video and have it out for Wednesday. So we will see about that. It's been a few days since the little fiasco that happened. I don't want to talk about it, but we're going to talk a little bit about it. When buying your yarn, there's a thing called a lot dye number. If you're buying multiples of a color of yarn, you can compare them all together that they're, they're all the same. So that way you know that the, all the yarn was dyed in the same batch. 
so they're all gonna be the same color. Now where I got into a little fiasco, and I don't know if I'm ever gonna use this yarn again, I don't know, is with this Bernat Super Value yarn that I bought at Michael's. I've never had a problem with it. I've used it before. The sweater that I was wearing at the beginning of the video, you know, the jack-o'-lantern one, I used the black Bernat yarn. It was fine. I didn't have a problem with it, and I had to buy like three of them, and they all were the same color. When it comes to this project, I actually bought it in two different stores. I bought two in one store, and then I went and I bought one in another store. You think black would be black in yarn? It's not. The only problem with this is that right here on the back, I will put a close up, it says no dye lot. No dye lot. Even if I remembered to have checked, I couldn't have done anything about it because it says no dye lot. It does have a date on it up here. Maybe if it doesn't go by dye lot, it should just go by the number there maybe. Now the only reason why I went with Bernat, get double the amount of yarn in this one for the same price as this. So because I try to save a little money here and there and cut corners, this is where I ended up. And I kind of like hate myself for the fact that I just didn't do all of Impeccable. If I would have done all of Impeccable, yes, I would have spent a little bit more money, but I wouldn't have had to go through all this trouble because maybe all the black would have matched each other. I did redo the back piece, okay? The back piece is now done. It's all one color. So here's the thing. When it came to this black yarn, I had three skeins of it, or skeins, three skeins of it. Two were the same color. One was off, okay? So I'm like, okay, this one that was off was probably just a random one that I'm not going to encounter again. No, I ended up buying new yarn because I needed new yarn and I started making the sleeves. This yarn is the dark yarn. This is the yarn that I was originally doing the back piece with. Okay, I didn't really explain that properly. What I mean is that the new yarn that that I bought is the same shade of black as the first version of the back that I was doing was also that dark color. Hopefully that makes a little bit more sense. In my head, I'm like, this one skein of yarn that I used, I'm never gonna find another one. I just have to redo the back piece, not realizing that if I just would've went back to Michael's and bought another skein that day, actually it was kind of late at night, so if I would've done it the next day, you know, I could've just continued where I left off on the back piece instead of redoing the whole thing. Okay, okay, you see, you see where I'm going. This was supposed to be an easy project and it's not. Surprisingly, it's the actual yarn, which normally I never have a problem with. This yarn is just a little bit darker. Here's what's gonna happen. I'm not redoing the back piece, and yes, I do have the other back piece over there that I could just continue on, but I'm not gonna do it. Okay, the back piece is just going to be a slightly different color black than the rest of the project. It's the back piece. I don't care anymore. The arms are going to be the same color. So I finished this arm yesterday. I am currently working on this one. I'm going to get this one done today and I am going to attach it all today. That is the plan for today. Now, when it comes to this, right about here, okay, just this line right here and this line right here, you can tell that they are two different shades of black. Okay, so this half is the darker half and then this half is that lighter color kind of shade. Do you honestly think I'm going to redo this? No, I'm not. I'm not redoing it. It is what it is. Oh, we're going forward with it, okay? It'll be fine. But you know what? It's my project. It's handmade. If someone's going to come up to me and be like, hey, your two black colors of your yarn is off, I'll be like, I don't know you. <laughs> Go away. Unless like, you know, you watch my videos and you say that. You should have seen this video already and uh, and known why it's happening or why it happened. Okay, that's all I'm gonna say. We're just moving on. We're just moving on. We're just moving on right now, even though I just don't think anybody's really going to be paying attention to this. They're going to be looking at the amazing like follow boy symbol in the middle. That's what I want people to look at is this. Not so much, you know, the little errors that I did. Like I said today, I'm going to be finishing the one arm and I'm hoping to attach everything tonight. So then that way tomorrow I can just do all the ribbing and then I will be done. Okay, I did it. I finished both sleeves. They're done, which means it's time to connect all the pieces together. Now you might be like, what's this green? Well, I really like the fit of this and I really like how I did the neck on the green and black jack-o'-lantern one. So I am just lining it up with that so I know the space to leave for the neck because I will be doing some ribbing. I'm gonna be doing it in the white yarn. Now I'm just going to stitch that up and I'm going to stitch that up. And for this, I'm just gonna use a yarn needle, just a yarn needle. The back and top are now together. You can kind of tell that the back is a different color than the front. It's fine, it's fine. I've already discussed this. We're moving on with our lives. I am going to attach the sleeves on both sides and then I'll, you know, do the flip over. It's like, you know, 
I flip it over and then I attach it all together. And then that way tomorrow, all I have to worry about is just the trim on the cuffs and on the bottom. And then of course, I'm gonna put a little, little neckline in here and bada boom, we'll have a sweater. You know what's something that I'm just realizing right now? That I haven't made a sweater or cardigan like this style where I had to put like a bunch of parts together since my Christmas sweater. That was like, what, four months ago? Because I think I finished it the beginning of December because the last few ones have been what? I've made a crochet vest and then I made two hexagon cardigans. Well, I made one hexagon cardigan, another hexagon cardigan. That's another video for another time, which will be coming out very soon. But I haven't made like an actual sweater sweater in a really long time and I'm I miss it. Like these are my favorite projects to work on. This is what it's looking like so far. Like I said yesterday, I wanted to finish the arm and attach everything. And then I said I was gonna work on the ribbing today. Well, yesterday I was just such in the zone that I did one ribbing for one cuff. So that's one arm done. So far it's looking quite adorable. I really do like the fit. I mean, I knew I was gonna like the fit because this pattern is the exact replica of the other one that I showed you. So I knew it was gonna fit. And you know what? I quite like the size of this. I didn't even think about that, how big it was gonna be, but I think it fits perfectly on the sweater. I think that if it was like any smaller, it would have been too small and then any bigger and it would have like kind of went into the sides and then would have been misshapen. Today, what's happening? This cuff, collar, I'm gonna cinch this in. I have to cinch it in because I don't like, I don't like how it's like that. I'm gonna get this done today. I said I'm finishing the sweater today, but my goodness, I forgot how long ribbing takes. I always think like, oh, it's super easy. I'm going to be done it real quick. No, I'm not going to be done it really quick. A little bit halfway through one panel and I still have to do another panel or the front panel. Now the sleeves, I got those done. Oh my gosh, there's cat fur. Oh, this is the problem with having a white cat and working with black yarn. The white cat hair just gets everywhere. Anyways, this bottom ribbing. Oh my goodness. Every time I think I'm like close to being done, I'm nowhere close to being done. I'm going to get done today. I was kind of hoping maybe I could start my next project today, but I don't think that's going to happen because this is going to take forever. Maybe not forever, but at least another hour or two until it's completely done. And then I also still have to weave in the ends. So fun times. It's done. I did it. I finished it. Was there some hiccups along the line? Um, I have to say they're probably more than hiccups, but we're good to go. I think it turned out better than I could have expected. Again, I'm really surprised of how well this turned out. I wasn't 100% sure, because again, like I was just kind of following my other pattern and then I kind of forgot how big this image was gonna be, but it fits nicely on the front of this. What else am I supposed to say other than like, it's it's so cute. So like there's the front, right? And then there's the back. And if I, if I didn't tell you that I have two different shades of black yarn, can you really notice the back to the arm right here? Like this right here and this are two different colors. If I come really close to the camera, maybe you can tell, but from far away, it's all one shade of black. Super good. I really love the fit of it. I think it fits perfectly. It is a little like bulky here and the collar is just a little bit tight. That's always the case every time I finish a project. After a few wears, the collar will loosen up just a little bit and like the puffiness will like, won't be so puffy. And yes, I know, I know I can block things. I don't want to. If I were to block this, I wouldn't be able to wear it for probably a week because that's how long it would probably take to dry. Usually for blocking, you have to wet the thing, douse it in water. And I actually did that, I did a TikTok the other day. Well, it actually started a week ago because it was these vests that I was doing and they took like four or five days to dry. So could you imagine how long it would take for this to dry? I don't have time. Their album comes out in three days. But yeah, overall, I think it looks really great. I love the eye detail, this eye detail. What's so funny is in my original idea, I wasn't gonna put the teardrop. I don't know what I was thinking. Like, of course I have to put the teardrop in. It's it's part of the logo. And then the other thing was right here. I'm gonna leave it. You know, I was kind of thinking maybe I could take a piece of thread and I could if it bothers me down the line and just kind of like put a little bit of white right there just so I don't kind of like evens out. But you know what? I'm fine with it. It's okay. If it was like the one thing that was bothering me the most about the whole thing, then yeah, I would fix it. But I mean, somewhere like up here is a little bit spiky and same with like over here. Now that I'm wearing it, you see the bigger picture. So you're not really focusing on the things that I could have maybe problem solved a little bit better, but here I am. In total, it took me 34 hours and 25 minutes-ish, give or take an hour or two, because sometimes I would just be on TikTok for half an hour and not realize it. And then I kind of forgot to deduct that from time. And then other times I forgot to even write down the time. So roughly 35 hours to make this, just to make this front 
panel with the image on it about 12 hours. Now, again, with the front panel, I did have to take it apart several times. So probably more like eight hours, I have to say, maybe just to do the front panel because all this here, I had to take that apart like three, four times. And then over on the eye, I had to take that apart once. It's not like just straight doing things. And then of course, of course, we can't forget about the whole back fiasco. Okay, so that took some time as well. And I didn't deduct that time. So the fact that I had to basically make two back panels, that adds time too. So I feel like technically this project probably only took me 28 to 30 hours to make if I didn't make any problems. But here I am. Fun fact, the front piece, the time it took me to make this was the exact same amount of time as the original three movies from Lord of the Rings. All three movies was how long it took me just to make this front piece. So for the yarn, I really did my best to try to keep track of how much yarn I used, but with the whole like different color fiasco, I had to buy another ball of yarn. I'm trying to think. I think it took about three of the brunette yarn, like the black brunette yarn to make this. So I had bought three white and I have one full and I have this much left of the second one and I used one completely up. So for the white belt, one and maybe two thirds because I still have that left and that's not half of it. It's not a lot of yarn for this project. Don't know if I'm gonna ever go back to the Bernat yarn again, unless I can buy all the yarn in one place. If I can look at all the yarn and see that's the same color, then yes, I'll buy the Bernat yarn because it is a little bit cheaper. But if they only have like one and I need multiples of it, which is was the case. It was the case because I bought two at one store, one in the other, and it was the one in the other store that was different than all the rest. <laughs> Ugh. I don't know if I'm gonna go back to Bernat. I might just spend the extra money on the Impeccable to know that I'm getting the right batch number because the Impeccable does have a batch number. Bernat does not have a dye lot, so. Mm. Only a few more days until I can listen to the new Fall Out Boy album, which I am so excited for because as of right now, they've released two of the songs and they're like amazing and I keep listening to them. And then like on their Instagram, they keep teasing all the other songs. And I'm like, like I just want the full versions. I just want the full versions. But here we are, just a few more days. Like overall, again, I think it's really good. I like this. So yesterday I was already done it. And then yesterday I started my next project. I just have to keep crocheting. Like I can't not crochet. Every day I have to be crocheting. I think that pretty much does it for this video. If you're new to my channel, like sewing, thrifting, crafting, and of course crocheting, why not hit that subscribe button? You can also follow me on my Instagram and my TikTok. I think that is it. So y'all have a good day now. <music>